Whoa, it's just the illusion reporting from somewhere on Spaceship Earth. I'm here with the hologram. The hologram got her first piece of email requesting information data point. So this is a pregnancy update. And uh, are you excited? I'm listening to you following your lead. You okay. Keep going. All right. So uh, where are we at in the pregnancy? I'm six months pregnant. That's 22 weeks, right? 23. 23. Um, first three months were very hard. These, well, what? take away three. The last three months have been easier. Uh, I have a lot more energy. And what do I do? What did she ask? She was asking about anxiety, trying to stay in the present moment. See, I struggle more with... um like um, emotional, like a little bit of sadness, like this deep kind of sadness. But I understand the anxiety part, thinking about the future. The I suffer the anxiety. Dude. Uh, he's all, he's why I'm so tight sometimes, the illusion. So tight. Um, I get exercise, even when I don't feel like it. I get sleep. I eat really well. I was eating meat in the first three months of the pregnancy, and I stopped that. I feel a lot better. And um, I, I was talking to my one girlfriend that's had like five babies, and she said, try and connect with the baby when you're feeling like that. That's what she said. So you and Al, baby Al have been connecting. Yeah. Baby Al is kicking and moving. Time. Yeah, yeah, all the time. So yeah, that's what I do. I, I really, um, and just remember that it's temporary. Like it, it is a temporary, it, it will pass. And you already have a child. This particular woman already has a child. Yeah. So you know what's on the other side. You know, it's just a moment in time right now. So that's what I... Yeah. That's what just... what what are you eating right now? More importantly, what are you eating? Because you've gotten yourself into... I brought... I like I, spicy. I, that's funny. I said so I got a slice of jalapeno pepperoni pizza and it just sent the, the hologram off on a, on a jalapeno kick. So what's your big thing right now? Um, brown rice tortillas with almond cheese quesadillas. And I like to cut up the jalapenos and I put it inside and then I douse it in sriracha <laughs> <laughs> with non-fat plain yogurt and salsa. It's so good. Yeah, and that's pretty much so all you're eating? Pretty much. That's it? Pretty much. So you've had a, a steady food alteration. Yeah, yeah. I decided the dairy wasn't making me feel very well, although I do eat um, non-fat Greek yogurt. And i um, trying to just eat a lot of fresh organic vegetables and fruits. Fruits more. I haven't wanted vegetables, but I try and eat a salad every day. But yeah, pretty much just brown rice tortillas with almond cheese because I don't want to do the dairy. Although I did want a scoop of vanilla ice cream yesterday. That was good. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, let's see let's see the baby bump, dude. Come on. Support the baby bump. I don't know dude. if you can see Yeah, it. oh yeah, yeah, there it is. Can There's baby it? owl right there. Yeah. That's pretty official. And I have people. all my super sexy maternity jeans. I to take <laughs> these bad boys off. Yeah. <sighs> so how how is that the struggle with the form? Oh, it's hard. it's hard, especially for somebody that's so um, active. And I, I am, you know, I mean, we live in kind of a sick town. Sick LA, meaning we live in Malibu, Malibu LA, which is all Los form, Angeles, form it's issue. all based on what you look like and especially the women. And so, you know, and I've grown up here, so I have to remember that <clears throat> what's real and, and what's not. But you know, I, I I I'm still going to all my same classes, my aerobics classes, and but it's it's definitely hard watching your body change. For me, it has been. I have to be honest. I am, and I've spoken to a couple of my girlfriends about this. I do not love being pregnant. I don't. There's a lot of women that are like, oh, I've never felt so sexy. I've never, like, I don't love it. I love the end result, and I understand that it's. I think it's a beautiful thing, but I'm not like I I'm, I'm I'm like waiting for the nine months. I'm ready. Really? Yeah, yeah. I'm not like I don't love this process. But what about baby owl kicking and moving that around? That I there? love. Yeah, I mean, I'm a mom. I, 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 it's, it's part of who I am. I'm very maternal, and I think it's amazing. 
But, you know, lugging the extra 25 pounds around, being swollen, have feet, backache, you know, I don't love it. it, it am, am I super grateful and it's a blessing that we get to do it? Yeah, but, you know, for any of those women that are like, I don't really, you know, I felt guilty about feeling that way. Like, there's something wrong with me as a woman, so, you know. But there's not. No. I mean, because you went and talked to your supermodel friend who had a couple friends, and she said she hated being pregnant. She hated too. being pregnant too. And she's a super happy mom. Yeah. 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 Being a mom is amazing, but this part of it is can be challenging. So how's it uh, with the uh, the mini gram, dude? Because she's so she's so sweet. Because the mini gram's nine, going to be ten, so, almost she's a tween. So excited, and she's so maternal. And she's, uh, she's going to be such a good older sister. She's always wanted something to take care of. She talks to the baby every night. Yeah, if we, I try we and talk walk, to baby Al. Yeah. If I try and walk out without her getting to say goodnight to the baby, she goes, wait, Mommy, i got to say goodnight to baby Owl. Yeah, she's amazing. Yeah, she's the trooper. I'm the crazy one. Oh, he's just, he's, he's been a little freaked out recently. Yeah. It's kind of radical. He's got a lot on his plate. A anxiety, man. Ooh. It's no longer just me and my skateboard, is it? No, it's not. No. Yeah. But, you know, I'm dealing best I can. I drive, I drive her crazy, though. That's well, more I'm the so sensitive. You know, he doesn't understand sometimes. Well, I think that's how, more the thing, how right? How sensitive a pregnant woman can be, like like the woman that sent you the email. Like, she's got all these hormones. Uh, by the way, with my second baby, way more. My first baby, I, I didn't even know with Georgie, with the, what do you call her? The mini gram. The mini gram. I, I didn't even know till I was, like, f almost four months pregnant. I didn't even know I was pregnant. So, this one's been definitely different. I don't know if it's because my age or. So you're subjected to like crying. Oh, I cry a lot. Usually because I'm, have to I'm an idiot. You have to cry. By the by the way, the uh, guys out there, it's a sensitive sensitive world that you enter when your partner's pregnant. That's for sure. Yeah. And I'm kind I'm kind of a brute, so on a, on a certain level. I mean, I understand that a lot of it's just feelings and I, I, I don't try not to attach to them, but like you got to let them out when they're there. But I have the last month I've been really wanting to keep my body calmer because it's a full aware being now, you know? Yeah, dude. He can hear everything. Baby Al can, Baby Al is listening right now. Yeah. Baby Al tastes all the food. Yeah, he likes so, sriracha. Yeah, he likes sriracha. Jalapenos. <laughs> <laughs> So that's it. Yes. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're doing it. It's, it, it's, it's not always pretty. It's not easy. Well, you know, we're going to make a, I think we're going to make a video about a, being a mixed family too. Cause yeah. you know, there's all sorts of side issues going on with, you know, cause we, there's already the, the nine year old mini Graham and there's a whole story that, that accompanies her. Yeah. And you know we're 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 intermingling as a, it's a threesome. Lot. Being a mixed family is a lot. I mean, I can't. Uh, I mean, the only challenge we don't have is you don't have any kids. For Oof. families that have other kids and you're you're mingling them together, I my hat is off to you. Like, whoo, that is. Yeah, it's it's a radical radical dynamic, and you know I went from being basically a hermit to to, to living with two women. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know what his favorite thing is? Hair in the drain. Oh. You want to send me some emails about that, females? Well, well, did... I don't know what he wants us to do. No, no. I, I, I got in there and took the whole drain apart and pulled this cluster of of hair out of the drain. It was pretty we'll radical. see when you grow your hair back out. I'm growing the hair back out. She doesn't like the sideburns, but anyway, whatever. No. But yeah, no, that's been, I think that's been a whole video on, it's going to be on itself, is just the mixed family, because there's a whole dynamic. It's like, it's not just the two of us, like, no. I got the mini gram to be totally concerned about, and we got a gel on a whole level, like, which is a whole trip. It's a lot. It's radical, man. And then just, you and know. And then, I, you know, his, his side of it is, yeah, what, yeah. 
my side. There's, well, his side is he's it. coming in and having to be, be. Uh, yeah, I gotta step. I gotta step up my game. Like, but then I, the female side, the the mother side, for any mothers that are in the mixed families, you have to show up for your new partner and your children. So, you know, make sure everybody's happy, which is always, which is impossible. To make well, sure. you know, and then I got to make sure that everyone's fed. Like you get down to like caveman stuff, like just food and shelter, which is gnarly, dude. Because, you know, I'm a free thinker, which makes me not really that dialed in with the system, dude. <laughs> a little bit crazy. I have a broken mind, too, so whatever. Oh, yeah. I I, I admit I ha I'm a I'm a. He's had he has a broken mind, but he's an intellectual. Yeah, isn't that <laughs> the, the bird that can't fly, right? God, God. I have All to right, we gotta go. All right, that's so. There's your pregnancy update. Yeah, yeah. Send another um email if you need. I don't know what her name was. But we don't. I feel we don't you. go. We don't oh, go oh, with that oh. unless they say I, it's okay. I get it. I completely get it. We're, we're staying in the now. Yesterday, I wasn't in the now. That's the thing, right? Like, one of us is up, one of us down. Sometimes all three of us are on the same playing field. It's, it's, hard, to, it's hard to let people drift into outer space. I had to go into outer space for, for a couple of days. You can tell by the look on her face. She wasn't that excited about my drift to outer space because she needs me. Yeah, I need him right now. <laughs> anyway, that's our update.